everyone and welcome to my channel if you're new here i'm melanie and at the moment i predominantly do daily vlogs what i'm trying to do during self-isolation i suffer from anxiety depression and ptsd and i typically do weekly vlogs but with everything that's going on in the world i decided to try and do daily which i managed a little bit of and now i'm currently behind but i'm still filming as much as i can so on Tuesday and Sunday, I like to do what I refer to as my other content. And that could be anything from a concert video to a whole video, trying things on camera, doing a face full of one brand of makeup on camera, um, experience videos, unboxing of beauty boxes, that kind of thing. So today I've got a giant box. This is massive. And this is the Marks and Spencer's food box. It's 35 pounds there's absolutely no fresh ingredients in here unlike the morrison's one which i had last week and i ended up putting it in a vlog instead of a standalone video which was the plan but i couldn't do a standalone video because i'd been up all night and i just couldn't do it so that vlog will have been about a week ago so if you want to go back to a week ago you can see what i got in the morrison's one the Morrison's one was £30 plus £5 delivery and I feel like I got the money's worth. This, when you go on the website, it tells you what you're going to get. It does say there might be some substitutions. At the moment, I don't know. This is the view I've had. I don't know why they've put all this cheap polystyrene in. It's not even good for the environment, this one. Anyway, um, when you're reading what's in this box, basically it does not come to £35. So they're actually charging you more than what the contents are worth, which I think is a rip-off. But I wanted to get it, so I've got it, basically. So I'm going to get everything out, then I'm going to show you what is in as I, after I've took it out as well. So the first thing which was advertised is some English breakfast tea bags. I don't think I've ever had English breakfast tea. And it is strong. I think I'd probably get a number one or a number two strength wise so i may not like them but i knew that was in there so it's not like i didn't know see i've already know i've got a substitution because you're supposed to get a pack of luxury shortbread biscuits i was going to say scottish because they are scottish um the pack you're meant to get is comes in this presentation box and it's got like a clear lid and it's got like square biscuits in so i know already there's one substitution. Percy Pig. Who does not like Percy Pig? Because I do. I like Percy Pig. I'm probably going to run out of space because normally when I do my food hauls, I put everything on my cooker and this is what the box is on. So I knew you get a coffee, but the coffee that they've got pictured is actually the cheapest coffee. Um, and I know this isn't the cheapest one. I don't personally drink instant coffee because I don't like it, but I like coffee from my coffee machine. So, but I'm going to use this because there's something I want to do with it. The coffee's better than advertised. What is this? Tomato and sweet garlic. So on the website, it's just advertised as a tomato pasta sauce. Luckily, I am a massive lover of garlic, so I'm going to love this. So this will either do two of us as one meal, or me twice, because I don't know how this is going to pan out with the meals. Depends on what the person I love with wants to do. So there's a tin of chicken tikka masala. There is actually meant to be a vegetable curry. So if you were looking forward to the vegetable curry, which I actually was, and I was actually going to put chicken in, I've never had chicken in a tin. So this is going to be a new experience. I was just going to get the vegetable curry and put chicken in. So that is something that is another substitution. Might as well go for the tin. So cream of tomato soup, I knew this was in here. I actually had, um, in the Max Spencer's one, they had tomato soup and it was Heinz. And I've had that one um, a couple of days ago. So I've never had a tin of M&S soup before. I'm sure it'll be good like everything else I've had from m &S. So there is a pack. Oh, God, they are huge. They're like that big. Milk chocolate gigantic buttons. I've seen them in the shop and I love 
dairy milk buttons. So, and I actually do like M&S chocolate. So, probably going to like them. Because, based on other chocolate I've had from M&S, I like them. So, M&S beans, if you've watched my channel before, you'll know they're my favourite beans. They're about 36p a can, so they're cheap. The only thing is they don't have a ring pull. But these are the best beans that I've ever had in my life. So another pack of shortbread, obviously to make up for the fact that the luxury pack. Oh God, I'm getting polystyrene everywhere. That the luxury pack isn't in here, which is unfortunate because that was one of the things I actually really wanted. So I was actually looking forward to the pasta and it was meant to be usually. And it looked really good. And it was M&S's own brand, but this is not an M&S brand. Because if you've never been in the shop, they do do some brands that aren't their own. But they typically... Well, they do things like Heinz and stuff, and then they do some really expensive ones. So I'm guessing this probably wasn't cheap. But I didn't need or want any spaghetti pasta because I've actually got some. And this is a substitution. So I've got an Italian tomato pasta sauce. I think this was the one that I was meant to get. So I'm presuming the other one is a substitution for the beef bolognese sauce that was meant to be in here. Because this was meant to be in here and it's massive. If I had this to myself, that would do me three meals. But as I said, I don't know how this box is going to pan out. It is a bit like a mystery box because I honestly don't know what I'm going to get, so I mean, this was in it, well it was meant to be normal dark chocolate, and a milk chocolate bar, oh god, look at that 85%, I don't like the hot chocolate, I was thinking of doing some baking and using a little bit every time I baked, because I won't eat that, I'll eat that, that, a bit too long for me, chunky vegetable, oh that actually looks good, so in the Morrison's ba bag box, you actually did get a vegetable soup by Heinz. Oh, it's got leeks in. So I might not be able to have that because I hate leeks. It's getting tiring doing this. So, easy cut long grain rice. We were meant to get normal long grain rice. But, oh God, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Kilogram. I'm sure it's a 500 grams online. I could be wrong. This box is more like a... Um, it's not what I'd call an essential box. So I knew these were in here. I actually wanted some nuts. Chunky steak. There's meant to be two tins in it. I've never... I've never ever had steak in a tin. I mean, how does it stay fresh? And how long does it last for? 2021. Oh, that can't be good. Ugh. <laughs> I hate corned beef. I knew this was in here, but on the picture online, it looks like it's ham, which I wouldn't have eaten anyway, ham in a tin. Ugh. Hopefully my dad will eat this. You never see um, corned beef in a round tin. No, I knew this was in here. Wild Alaskan red salmon. What I said salmon wrong then. Um, I've not had salmon in a tin for years, but I do like salmon, so I'm probably gonna have this one. I think we're coming to the end with the food. I know there's a big thing here. Actually, I think this is the last item. So, for £35 plus £3.99 delivery, I am not impressed. I know those toilet rolls are £3 because I go in M&S and I've once picked up some toilet rolls because they've got some that have star print on. So, I know they are expensive to buy. Rice, do you know what? 
this is what a lot of people don't realise. A lot of stuff in M&S is the same price as in normal supermarkets. And they have a more expensive range and they have a cheaper range and then they have the average range. So this would be about £3. So there's £6. These I've seen in the shop for a pound a packet on offer, but I think they're around one fifty normally. So there's three pounds again, so that's nine pounds. That bag of peanuts is about two pounds, so we're on eleven. I know the the tins of soup are around a pound each. Twelve, thirteen. There was meant to be two of them in there, and there's only one, and there's no replacement for it, so I don't know what they're playing at. But I'm guessing that's around £2 as well. So that's 16 I'm guessing this is about £1.50. But let's go for £2 to make it easier to add up. So that's 18 I'm going to say that's about £2. It was meant to be vegetable. And I was really looking forward to the vegetable curry. Um, and I was going to put chicken in it. And I was going to have it. I was really looking forward to it. And I don't know how I feel about chicken in a tin. So that's 20 These are 38p. So let's go for 40 So that's £20.40. This is about £2.50 because I've seen it before. <clears throat> so let's cut £2.60 just to make my life easier. So then that takes it up to £23. I've had that tomato and garlic pasta sauce before. It was about £1.50. God, what am I up to now? £24.50. The coffee's not expensive. So let's say it's £2.26.50. The Percy pig's a pound or one fifty. So let's say one fifty to make it easier. That's twenty eight. They're about a pound twenty nine. They're about a pound fifty each. Thirty, thirty one, thirty two. The tea bags are about one fifty, thirty three fifty. So it actually does come to thirty five pounds. But when you look at it, you're like, no. I am disappointed because there's meant to be two tins of this. I mean, not that I'm bloody. You know, I don't think it would have been top of my list of what I wanted, to be honest, because I don't understand meat in a tin. It lasts for ages. It can't taste very good. I mean, I could be proven wrong. So to do a rundown of what you get, you get the aloe vera toilet tissue. And also, boxes vary from town to town, so it depends what's in stock in your local town. They don't do it from one mass place. They do it locally. So you get a pack of toilet tissue, you get a massive bag of rice. I mean, that is going to last ages. You get two packets of short bread. Oh, but a short bread. Um, you was meant to get this presentation one, which looks really nice. There's a packet of large peanuts. I'm not the biggest peanut fan. I prefer other types of nuts, so I'll probably give them to my dad. I did want some peanuts, but yeah. Then there's Percy Pig, which obviously I do like. There's two bars of chocolate. There's a milk chocolate and there's an intense dark. It was meant to be normal dark, but either way, it doesn't matter because I don't like it. English breakfast tea bags. The spaghetti pasta, which is a big letdown because they give you pasta sauce, but, you know, you want proper pasta with it. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that. Giant buttons. Then down the front, there's a tin of cream of tomato soup, which I'm happy with. This I was happy with too, I saw it got add leeks in it, and I hate leeks, so I won't be eating it, but it does look tasty. Looks like it's got pearl barley in it as well. Um, a tin of chunky steak, I don't understand that. tin of chunky cooked corned beef. Ugh. Chicken tikka masala, I do like chicken tikka masala, but not in a can. Baked beans, there's some coffee, there is a garlic, tomato and sweet garlic sauce which I've had before and there's a jar of Italian tomato pasta sauce and that is the contents of the Mark Spencer's food box which is £35. I feel after the Morrison's one, this is a letdown because the Morrison's one was 35 including delivery and it was full of fresh meat, there was chicken, there was bacon, there was pork sausages, there was mints, there was milk, there was butter, there was loads of vegetables. So, I do know that Max Spencer's do veg boxes. There's a £15 one and there's an £18 one and there's a £20 fruit box. When I tried to get the fruit box at the same time, it wouldn't take me to the boxes. And I found out you've got to actually Google M&S food box and it takes you to the page with all the boxes on. Because I would have got the £15 veg box as well. 
So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I'll answer them. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification to get an alert every time I upload a similar video. I'll be back very soon with my next food haul. Thank you for watching.